Study finds surprising number of Americans think chocolate milk comes from brown cows. The study found 48% of respondents weren't sure where chocolate milk came from. 7% thought chocolate milk only comes from brown cows. That adds up to about 16.4 million people, more than the population of Ohio. And if that wasn't bad enough, the Washington Post linked this study to past studies that consistently show many Americans have no idea where their food comes from. For example, a study in 1990s found that nearly 20% of people did not know hamburgers are made from beef. And you just know that most of these surveys was done on college campuses and liberal cities. It just gets worse by the day. But all we can do is laugh while the world burns. Fall's favorite spice blend has a violent history. And yes, they're talking about pumpkin spice. Megan Rapino, Rapino, I don't know how you pronounce her last name, says there's a special place in hell for those who celebrated her career ending injury. Yeah, and there's also rumors that she may have allegedly either faked or exaggerated that injury in order to get out of the league without having to say that she quit. I know everyone by now has been hearing all the hype about the April 8th solar eclipse, so I thought I'd throw this in there to remind everyone about the different types of eclipses. A lunar eclipse, a solar eclipse, an apocalypse. That last option there would be the only real global warming. I come across this post from Jim Carrey. If only nature could find a way to cover these oranges so we didn't need to waste so much plastic on them. But remember, you're a bad person if you want to use plastic shopping bags. Here's an article for all you vegans out there, which I'm sure there's very few if any vegans that watch my videos. 10% of all vegetarian hot dogs contain meat. From CNN. Your Franks may not be frank with you if you're a vegetarian. According to a study from Clear Labs, a food analytics startup, 10% of vegetarian hot dog products contain meat. Now that's bad for all you vegans. But here's something that's bad for all of us. It also found human DNA in 2% of its hot dog samples. If they're doing this to vegan fake meat, what are they doing to the regular hot dogs? We all know where this is leading to. I mean, they already have the green one. That's why it's quote unquote good for the planet. Some of the people out there will get this. It still amazes me that they actually made a product by this name. Right lane closed for no apparent reason. That's usually how it goes. I don't know who needs to hear this, but photo enforcement cameras hold 5.5 pounds of copper. Dang man, that's probably like over $300. Our research shows one out of five Trudeau supporters is just as stupid as the other four. Follow the, yep, exactly. 2009, it's a smartphone. It can do anything. 2024, stare into this nightmare rectangle and watch society collapse in real time. That's why all of us gather here to watch this video. When you're hungry and act like you work for Uber Eats. I've actually heard this happening a lot, apparently. People just walk in and take a few orders and leave. When the law no longer protects you from the corrupt, but protects the corrupt from you you know your nation is doomed. I think this pretty much sums up all the Western countries right now. It's not a coincidence that the things happening in the US are the same things that's happening in Canada, the UK, Australia, New Zealand, most of Europe, and even other places like South Africa.
Carbon footprint of homegrown food five times greater than those grown conventionally. This is the stupidity of this generation. You see articles like this about people that's wanting to grow food in their backyard or whatever, but yet they never say a single thing about growing any other plants, flowers, or bushes that don't produce food. So what is it that they really hate? We all know. NASA scientists detained at U.S. border until he unlocked his phone. See? He should have said he was an illegal immigrant. Then he'd have got a new phone, free health care, a debit card with money on it every month, a free ride to wherever he wanted in the country, and a whole lot more. Wheels on a shopping cart. I have to assume that this was done because of the position of the sun or something. But I don't care. I would change the entire design of the whole thing before I would allow this. Did you guys ever see the video of the guy in Walmart who has a shopping cart that the wheels are squeaking really bad? So he goes over to the hardware aisle, grabs a can of WD-40, sprays all four wheels, Puts a WD-40 back on the shelf, and the wheels don't squeak anymore. The two worst feelings in the world are not having a job and having a job. Most of the time, you have to suck it up and do a job you hate in order to pay the bills and get by. I'm a female crane operator. Men stare at me constantly. With what? Binoculars? No kidding. That's the perfect reply. 95% of electric cars are still on the road. The other 5% made it all the way home. That's absolutely true, as we've witnessed this winter. Men, what's preventing you from dressing like this? I understand dryer settings, and I don't wear women's pants. New Irish government wants to pass a law that could see people jailed for possession of memes, cartoons, or any content that could be deemed hateful by bureaucrats. The bill includes no definition of hate and is wide open to abuse by corrupt politicians. In other words, you couldn't question or say anything negative about the government or any individual bureaucrat or politician nor any of the policies or bills that they want to pass, or anything else about the mainstream narrative, or just anything in general that they don't like. People showing off their new Stanley Cups. I showed a similar meme in a past video. I can't remember if it was on this series, or if it was in the Gen X and Millennial series, but on that video, I asked how in the world did this blow up and become a so-called status symbol in schools and even adults? Why did this all of a sudden become a thing? People are literally stealing these out of stores, sometimes by the cart full. Other people's paying $100 or more off of eBay. One of you guys left a comment saying that this all started when there was a car that caught on fire. And there was one of these Stanley mugs sitting in the console. It was burned, but the ice on the inside still hadn't melted. Regardless, that still makes absolutely no sense why people's paying the prices they are. Local Facebook user discovers they can simply scroll past posts they disagree with, instead of leaving an essay in the comment section. I'd say most everybody by now knows about this cartoon, or what do they call it, anime, which basically means a Japanese cartoon, but I had to throw this one in here. Fun fact, whatever new Dragon Ball content is released, cartel activity drops significantly for about two days. That's just hilarious in my book, because it means that this younger generation, this cartoon is more important to them than any job that they're working. Even the criminals. How poor people spend the little money they have is always the topic of discussion. Let's talk about how rich people spend the money poor people create. 100%. The worst thing is, 
is a lot of the country has been taught that the rich is people like small business owners and whatever instead of people like Bill Gates George Soros and Jeff Bozos Jeff Bozo whatever his name is you guys know who I'm talking about and on a side note I read the other day that he sold off a record-breaking eight and a half billion dollars worth of Amazon stock there was also several other billionaires who sold off large amounts of stock in their companies as well. Whoever invented the idea of garlic bread should have their face printed on every single banknote in the world and have a bank holiday made for them to celebrate such a creation. Often I find myself imagining the life of a night shift forklift operator, one who still works completely alone. Does he honk his horn when reversing as OSHA requires? Or does he just play by his own rules? Listerine Cool Mint. Cut them into circles and replace your mate's contact lenses. Whoa, calm down, Satan. People's ideas of pranks, or maybe this is revenge. I mean, they're getting pretty bad these days. That'd be worse than destroying somebody's vehicle. And a lot of other things. Most of the shoes today are garbage. Best food in 1923. Best food in 2024. Some things never change. Well, it's changed a lot because of all the, I'll just say, injections. And all the GMO feed. Along with a lot of other things. However, with what food is available these days, beef is still the best food that we have access to. But the best beef that you can get is if you can find a local farmer that you can buy directly from. When Italian bureaucrats get paid higher salaries, they are less likely to take bribes, which makes them more likely to be unalived by the mafia. That's another example of when politicians try to justify their crimes. But if you or I were trying to use this exact same excuse, they'd throw us in prison for the rest of our lives, however short that may be. Why are government official accounts releasing information in meme formats now? Because they know people trust memes more than they do the government and the media now. And that's just a fact. And a good reason for it, too. Being a crappy neighbor. Lesson 1. The governments themselves don't care, but it's all the people that live anywhere near there that's the ones that's gonna suffer when something happens. We are enjoying a remarkable recovery. My grocery bill has determined that was a lie, and they're still trying to sell this. Worse yet, there's still a lot of people that believe this. What goes up, but never comes down. The amount of taxes I pay. It's an absolute fact. And something that most people don't know is that if you're self-employed, you pay even more taxes. Why? Because they don't want people to be self-employed or to own small businesses that employ other people. McDonald's agrees to take down McCrispy advertising billboard that was erected next to the sign for the local crematorium. You don't want to know the best part of this? The only reason this happened is because it became a meme and was shared all over social media. Biden's State Department is giving taxpayer dollars to Soros-funded groups to interfere in Hungarian elections. Those groups are giving the funds to Hungarian media outlets critical of Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban. Why, you may ask? Orban will not follow self-destructive World Economic Forum policies, so America is funding his ouster. This isn't anything new. They've used the same play time and time and time again. And if that doesn't work, well, then they move on to the use of force. I'm not going to read this one. I might get in trouble with some of my viewers. Fourth grade girl allegedly beats teacher in head with metal object. Principal arrested for allegedly covering incident up. And the worst part is, I've seen multiple similar stories in recent months 
about different schools in different states. It's how this generation has been raised. They have no respect of elders, or of anyone for that matter, because they've never faced any consequences for their actions while growing up. Don't worry, everyone. The Optus Network engineers have narrowed the problem down to one of these cables. I'm sure it'll be sorted out soon. They have implemented their Any Mini Miny Mo testing protocol and is proceeding as we speak. Optus down. If I was to ever get hired by a company like that and I walked in and seen that disaster of a mess, I would turn around and leave immediately. The ultimate put down for 2023. Oh, yeah? Your dad buys Bud Light at Target. Late millennials and younger generations learn about Chad Generation X. How can they eat gluten? Why aren't they offended by everything? Why is their music so good? How can they distinguish between a man and a woman? Because, as far as speaking of a generation of people as a whole, Gen X and the early millennials, was the last generation with any common sense and critical thinking ability. A tree fell on my fence, making the best of it while I negotiate to repair. That is perfect. And what makes it better is dog is in quotation marks. Have you guys seen this? Meet the New York Police Department dance team. I mean, really? Maybe it is time we defund some of the police. It reminds me of a time not too long ago, during a certain ongoing created event, when the hospitals were supposed to be overflowing. There was video after video on social media and even the news of nurses dancing in empty hallways. A British man who needed to fix a typo on a plane ticket found it was cheaper to change his name and get a new passport than to pay the airline's name change fee. So that's what he did. Worse and worse all the time. What's considered trashy if you're poor, but classy if you're rich? Getting money from the government. It's true. That's at least true if you're an actual citizen. I tried to convince my son that a buffalo chicken is a real animal. He demanded I Google it. I knew Google Images had my back. You know, this is funny. You want to see what's not? Man sues Buffalo Wild Wings after realizing boneless wings aren't actually wings. A Chicago man is suing Buffalo Wild Wings for false advertising and deceptive business practices alleging he was duped into buying boneless wings that aren't just boneless, but wingless as well. The stupidity of this nation never ceases to go lower. U.S. man eats 34,000 Big Bacs in his lifetime, extending world record. Gors Gorski, a 70-year-old from Wisconsin, already held the world record for the most McDonald's Big Mac burgers eaten in a lifetime. On Thursday, Guinnesses announced that he'd extended his burger streak after consuming 728 more Big Macs in the year 2023 alone. According to Guinnesses, Gorski's record now officially stands at 34,128 Big Macs. Well, whenever the date comes that he does pass away, they won't have to worry about embalming him. The Grand Canyon has so much potential. Why haven't we done this yet? It's really a wonder that they haven't done this already. If your parents made 80000 when you were born in 1990, you'd have to make $246,382 in 2024 just to have the same life. This is true, and that's just a sad fact. And if you want to go many times more so, just drop back to the 1970s and 1980s. Once you understand that the solutions aren't created to solve the problems, but the problems are created to implement the solutions. Then you will understand just how evil the people creating all these problems really are. They have done this for more than a hundred years. 
It's called Problem, Reaction, Solution. This one very simple example is how the Great Depression was created so that they could then bring in the solution of the Federal Reserve, which is a private bank owned by them that prints U.S. debt notes out of thin air and then loans these notes, also called U.S. dollars, to the government plus interest. You watched The Hunger Games and sided with the resistance. You watched Divergent and sided with the resistance. When it's fiction, you understand. Yet you refuse to see it when it's the reality you're living in. Very sadly, this is true for a large portion of this generation. But by the vast majority of the comments that you guys leave here on the channel, you guys are awake and already know these things. Which is why you're watching this video right now. Science proves kids are bad for the earth. Morality suggests we stop having them. We need to stop pretending kids don't have environmental and ethical consequences. Just more stupidity of this generation. However, this is a very bad time to bring any child into this world and it's very sad day and hour. There is always someone looking at your post like this. This is true and I always thumb down my videos. And although you guys can't see those numbers anymore because YouTube done away with it, on my side of YouTube as a content creator, I still see all those numbers. The higher percentage of thumbs down that a video gets, the less that the YouTube algorithm will promote that video. And at some points, it stops sharing it completely. So if you guys would do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Today, I saved $347 by not going to Costco for blueberries. You have to admit, this is true. The very rare times that I go to Costco, because the closest one is about 125 miles from me, if you walk in there for just a couple things, you end up walking out with far more. 150 Democrats vote against a bill to deport illegals caught driving while drunk. Notice that it doesn't say that they didn't have a license, because that's one of the first things they're given. When you go into the peaceful liberals part of town, fun fact, did you guys know that originally Republicans colors were blue and Democrats colors were red, but then they switched the colors because red is always associated with an enemy. This is why places like China and North Korea are always looked at as being red countries. And this is also why they categorize all conservatives as being quote unquote Republicans and then turn around and call them domestic terrorists. Notice to writers, failure to be at the bus stop at the scheduled time will result in missing the bus. The worst part is, this sign was made for a reason. Probably because somebody sued them, claiming they didn't know. This is the fake capitalism that we're currently living in today. This is a capitalist country in name only. Bureaucrats unable to define woman. Go find a Gen Xer. They'll be able to explain it to you. To all of you offended, you wouldn't have made it through an episode of me without having a meltdown. How the left thinks they look. How they actually look. This isn't even an exaggeration. Some of these I just gotta throw in here to give us all something to laugh about. First reported case of censored and Northern Ireland turns out to be a hangover. More so-called fashion these days. I wish I could trust someone like this cat. Trust that dog. How to sell your body parts legally. 
Nine ways to make money and help others too. This is how the media is telling people how to make more money to be able to pay their bills. Just sell your body parts. You got some extras, don't you? I don't need you anymore. I'm woke now. That's a pretty fair statement. I don't have any critical thinking ability. Just programming. Google update reveals AI will start reading all of your private messages. Google has just unveiled a game-changing AI upgrade for Android, but it has a darker side. Google's AI will start to read and analyze your private messages going back forever. I mentioned on a previous episode about how some of the high ups point blank stated how they were going to use AI to monitor everyone's messages on social media and your text messages on your phone to make sure it wasn't misinformation. And they also stated that if you texted someone a private message on your phone and it wasn't in line with the narrative, that it would be quote unquote corrected. They always tell the people what they're going to do before they do it. But most people still refuse to believe it. What was a fact taught to you in school that has been disproven in your lifetime? This would actually be a very long list. But I'll just point out one. Some people already knew this before, but most people were just waking up to the fact that your vote counts. I'm certainly not gonna read that. Father cries after son he tutored every day for a year, scores six out of a hundred in math exam. Hey, he should be thankful. At least his son's school still has grades. Here's another people of Yellowstone. Tourist dips fingers in Yellowstone hot spring with predictable results. A man has been caught dabbling his fingers in a boiling pool at Yellowstone National Park for attention, despite warnings from a companion burning himself in the process. Like I've said in past videos, the people of Yellowstone must be the same people in the videos about the people of Walmart. I have plant-based meats down here. Yes, that is exactly what should happen to all of these facilities. People are turning them upside down around here. Obviously referring to the American flag in the photo. I've read people's comments on posts like this asking if this was illegal or racist and a lot of other things. People don't even know what this means. Anytime a nation's flag is upside down, it is a sign that the nation is in distress. This goes back all the way to the time of the military forts and possibly before that, that when they were under attack or losing a battle, they would turn the flag upside down. This was done as a signal to allied forces so that when they saw this flag upside down that they would know that that fort was under attack and any allied forces that saw the flag would come to their aid. In my opinion, in this day and hour, every US flag in the country should be flown upside down because to say the very least, this nation is in distress and under attack. 70 years ago, we thought we'd be using flying cars and having holidays in space. Instead, we have this. When you're trying to have fun, but you remember that you're a slave living on a tax plantation. It's absolutely true. Some people are finally waking up to this fact. We started this video with a news article about people who thought chocolate milk come from brown cows. If they believe that, they probably also believe this. J. Edgar Hoover, powerful head of the FBI for nearly 50 years, out on the town in drag with his second in command, Clyde Tolson, 1940. The only thing that's changed with the rulers of this country is that today, they don't even bother to try to hide it. Milford Regional Medical Center warns it may deny care to those using unwelcome words 
about race or gender. I also showed a similar news article back in one of the past episodes of this series where a hospital said very similar things about people being brought into the ER. Not only are you going to see a lot more of this, but you'll see them expand this to cover of many other conservative views. Click on one of the videos above to help support the channel. Please hit that like button and subscribe. I thank you all for watching. This is Acorn, over and out.